And we're joined by Coach Major Applewhite from Houston. Uh, Houston began its season uh, Saturday against Rice. Houston won the game 45-27. to Cougars will play their home opener this Saturday against Arizona at TDECU Stadium in Houston. That game will be at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, and will be televised nationally on ABC with a reverse mirror on ESPN2. And then, as we mentioned earlier, Ed Oliver of Houston was chosen as the American's Defensive Player of the Week. Uh, Coach, thank you so much for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to uh, recap the Bayou Bucket game against Rice, please. And we expect to see you as you open at home uh, Saturday against Arizona. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for having me. Um, very, very pleased to start the season 1-0. Um, you, know, you, you watch enough college football and you, you realize how difficult it is to get a win. And very pleased with the way our guys played 60 minutes of football. We didn't start off the way we wanted to. Um, you know, in all three phases of the game, but settled in at halftime. And uh, coaches did a great job, uh, you know, settling guys down, especially guys who hadn't played a lot of football, and um, did a great job with their units. And players did an outstanding job responding to, to what their coaches told them at halftime. And um, just very grateful, um, you know, humbled by that win because we saw what we could be, and we also saw what we couldn't be if, if we don't have our concentration right. So. Uh, just very, very grateful for a win and excited to get back out there yesterday and start practice, get ready for a good Arizona team. Let's take questions for Coach Major Applewhite. Please, star one on your telephone keypad. We'll put you in the queue. The operator will introduce you. Thank you. We will take our first question from Dan Totora from wakeupcalldt.com. Please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. How are you? I'm well, thank you. To, uh, to look at King's play in this game, just what you can say about your quarterback, how he handled the game, obviously a plan from behind coming out of the half, just what you took away from his leadership, his poise, and his ability in this first game. Well, what you what you just hit on, uh, his leadership, his poise uh, throughout the first and second half, um, you know, and then it's just his quality of play. You know, he's done a great job uh, since Coach Browns got here in, in January. And he, he's always been competitive and a great leader, but – has done a great job taking to his coaching and, um, you know, just to see him play patiently and with poise throughout the first half and then come back out in the second half. And, you know, some guys in that situation, um, you know, may try too hard or start forcing the ball in the spots. And he did a great job of just, like I said earlier, just playing with poise and um, very pleased with his first game. And now it's just on to the next one. And then as far as defensively uh, coming out of the break, just what you can say about maybe some of those adjustments or, things that you tried to implement knowing that uh, in that second half you didn't allow much of anything outside of a, of a field goal to Rice. So just what you could say about defensive adjustment and how you feel the defense performed at that point. Well, it was, you know, it's uh, the, the, getting up only a field goal in the second half is the type of adjustment you want to see. It's all about scoring points and holding people to points. Uh, so very proud of the way they came out and played. The thing that was very difficult uh, is when you're not hitting on all cylinders yet offensively, and you're playing really good defense on first and second down, you have some third and sevens, third and eights, third and nines, and third and elevens where you'd like to get off the field, and we don't make some plays in man coverage, and we get beat in man coverage. And uh, your coordinator's trying to get them off the field or trying to be aggressive by playing man so we can get good field position for our offense because they're not performing as well as they can, and we, we don't make the plays in man coverage. And so now they stay on the field longer, and it delays the, you know, kind of the offensive momentum that happened later in the game it delays it. So there was a series there where I think it was maybe four or five or five and six third downs that got converted, and there weren't a whole bunch of points scored off of those drives, but it just took so much of the clock. And so um, that's what we went and spent a lot of time on yesterday was, was third down defense and making sure that when we do have those opportunities, we can get them off the field. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate your time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Your other questions for Coach Applewhite, please. Star one on your telephone keypad. Our next question comes from Joseph Duarte from Houston Chronicle. Please go ahead. Hey, Major, how you doing? Um, I went I'm good, Joe. How you doing? Good, good. I went back and rewatched the game, and I, I don't ever remember seeing a moment that Darian uh, left the game. Did he take himself out for a reason in terms of was he hurt, or can you kind of elaborate on what happened to him uh, in the game? Yeah, Darian, his, his knee was sore, uh, so they came over, iced him. Um, you know, then started to kind of jog around. They said, let's just hold you out. Let's take a look at you at halftime. And uh, probably could have gone back out there and played, but but didn't need to. And uh, gave him an MRI. 
got our results yesterday. So he's Darian's going to be out probably anywhere from two to six weeks, um, you know, and, and then, you know, he'll, he'll be back mid season at the latest. Can you say what the, uh, what the MRI showed? Is there anything um, structural? I just, or? It's, a, it's, a, it's a knee injury that two to six okay. weeks can be out. And, you know, as a young head coach, second year, I've just learned from the older guys that work for just don't get into all that. Just okay, gotcha. the time frame and um, what, what part of the body's hurt. And, and Camp, you had mentioned Raylon had been battling some stuff. Was that kind of the reason he didn't play in the opener? Yeah, he was battling, uh, yes, sir. He was battling uh, just kind of a high hamstring pull and, um, you know, actually probably could have pushed it uh, Saturday, but decided about Tuesday or Wednesday to, to back off and let's make sure he's healthy for week two because some of the other guys who've been playing behind him have been playing really well, and we just didn't want this something be something that continued throughout the season. Okay. Great. Thank you, Major. Yes, sir. Coach, before we let you go, can we just get your thoughts on uh, Arizona, please? Obviously, a team you played last year. Uh, how much do they resemble uh, the, the squad you played last year with the new coach? And obviously, um, not the quarterback that you faced last year. Um, can you take anything uh, you know, from the, uh, last year's tape to, to this year's game? Well, very, very solid, sound football team. Uh, very well coached in all three phases of the game. Um, watched them defensively, offensively, uh, special teams. You don't see them out of position. Um, they know what they're doing. They've got uh, eight returners on the defensive side of the ball. Um, all those guys you can see have just made that natural progression. They're playing faster, more aggressive. They love to run and hit. Uh, inside backers are great players. Uh, a couple safeties, experienced corners, uh, experienced defensive linemen. So, you know, they were one of the youngest teams in college football last year. Um, but they're all back, and they've all played a lot of football, not just a few starts here and there, but multiple starts. And then you look at the offensive side of the ball, and, and obviously Khalil gets the most attention, as he should. He's an outstanding quarterback um, who happens to be a freak athlete on top of it. Um, but Taylor, the back, uh, Sean, Ellison, Poindexter, there's a lot of skill, and they're, they're explosive. So you have to understand their personnel groupings, who's in the game, and um, you know, you've know you got to keep things in front of you because this is an explosive group that can make you pay. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Coach. Look forward to talking to you again next Monday.